Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Mike and I am with Brogan. Hello. And today in episode four of Crypto in the Park, we are going to take a look at a YouTube celebrity called Mr. Beast. So can you tell the viewers what we're going to cover in today's episode? Yeah, so what we're covering today is who he is, why he's famous, uh, the crypto products he's been involved with, uh, a warning on impersonation and scammers, how much we think he's worth, uh, and our conclusion. Perfect. So before we get on to any of that, can we please ask you to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse, help us grow the channel and make more videos like this. Let's get into it. So then this Mr. Beast, I'm going to be honest with you, I've never heard of him. Um, so can you, let's start off, who is he, where's he from? Yeah, well, James uh, Donaldson is a 25 year old coming from America, more specifically Carolina. Okay, and why is James uh, popular? What's he done to bring himself this yeah. claim to fame? Well, he's probably one of the most famous YouTubers around right now, uh, you know, raking in 330 million subscribers across his channels, uh, 50, uh, just above 50 billion views uh, on them, and 80 million dollars in earnings. So he's not few. short of a few bob. No, 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 that's all. All right, and, and um, just give me some idea what kind of videos does he make? How did he blow up? What's he done recently? Okay, yeah, so I'd say um, he's, he's had a lot of videos which have blown up, you know, really helped him out. But I think the one uh, which I'd point out the most uh, is when he gave money to homeless people that got shared all over the place. I think it was about $1,000 uh, a couple of times. Um, his, one of his biggest videos, uh, I'd say so, would be the Squid Game video where he built a whole... Squid Game video? Yes, he, he built all the contraptions from the show. Uh, he got real people to play it for an actual real price. They didn't actually get shot though. No, 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 no. He was a bit of like a ketchup packet or something. Okay. Um, but he does do a lot of good. Although he does sensational videos, yeah. he does do a lot for good. Um, so the two most popular ones, one of them being his most recent video, uh, is when he cured a thousand people uh, of being deaf. So he had he fixed them the. So he the, gave them the cochlear yeah, implants. The cochlear, yes. Exactly. Okay. Uh, but his most recent video is 100 wells in Africa. So he goes around with a team. I don't think he did it himself. Um, <laughs> where he goes around Africa and makes wells uh, with water, which is a, a really good thing. So 100 villages yes, in Africa yes. now have water, yeah. thanks to Mr. Beast. Okay, I'm sure he gets a lot of hate on that. Absolutely. That no, online, no, he's got he? a ton of hate for the death part. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Weird. People are very strange in this world. Yes. All right, so what we're going to do now is we might, might go for a little walk and then we're going to go through some of the projects that Mr. Beast has been yeah. involved with in the past because I think it's going to surprise a lot of people yeah. when they find out that Mr. Beast uh, has invested in, in not just crypto, but NFTs. Yes. And he's done it over the last three, four years, well. and he's done it well. So in the next part, we're gonna go and have a look at what he's been involved with. Yep. Right. Okay, so what I think the best thing to do is, now we know that uh, Mr. Beast is Jimmy, mm. and he is the biggest um, YouTuber yep. in the world, uh, we're gonna break down his crypto assets into two different sections. First, we're gonna look at his NFTs, then we're gonna look at how much Bitcoin does Mr. Beast hold, and that's the bit you need to wait wait for because the amount he owns yeah. is amazing so before we go any further please like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell hit especially. the bell so let's go back to the beginning of uh, mr beast's nft journey can you give us a bit of history about how he got into nfts yeah what he holds has he made any profits or losses on them absolutely so uh the first investment he made into crypto uh, was when he bought crypto punks um he kept this for a while and then sold it for i believe 30 times the profit uh as he said on one of logan paul's podcasts uh after this he then invested the same money into v friends which was gary v's project all right okay so gary v very big character um people have probably seen some of his motivational sales pitches yeah. on tiktok and youtube and things like that so he's a larger than life character and mr beast is obviously in bed with with the right people yeah on that call, there was Mr. Beast and 33 billionaires involved. Yeah. And I think that was the start of his journey into crypto. Because yeah. that kind of introduced him. Like we spoke about in the previous video when we talked about uh, Russell Brand, he was brought to crypto by, uh, crypto by Max Kaiser. So we've now seen Mr. Beast being brought to crypto by yet another larger than life character yeah. in Gary V. So once he sold his cyberpunks, he invested in VFriends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave all the details of Gary V and V Friends on the screen now so you have an idea of what he is into. What I think we should also mention is there is something called XCAD Network. Right. And this was a um, like a, de a decentralized finance platform that not only did Mr. Beast invest in, but also KSI, right. two of the biggest YouTubers in the world. I think yeah. KSI is the biggest YouTuber in, in the UK. England, yeah. In the UK, yeah. 
So you've got the biggest UK, you've got the biggest American YouTubers both invested in XCAD. That's something else which I think has made him understand a little bit more about not just pretty pictures and NFTs, but the actual benefits yes. of cryptocurrency the himself. The fundamentals, exactly. Now, all of this information is freely available online and all we're doing here is collating it for you yeah. to give you a very concise video explaining yeah, his exactly. exposure. Yeah, a good rundown of it. Exactly. Now, So, before we reveal how much Mr. Beast has in Bitcoin, would you like to tell people the funny story about how he nearly lost it all? Yes. All right, so uh, back in the day, um, when he, I think he was only just starting out, he bought some you know, nice clothes, but he didn't have much. Uh, he says himself when he was telling the story, he still thought it was a bad day buying his clothes. So he clearly didn't have you know, the riches he does have, have right now. Uh, but you know, I think the same day or within the same week, you know, a robber came in, uh, stole his laptop, his clothes, his TV, stole everything from him. Uh, and on that laptop was a sticky note, which had the seed phrase to his wallet, which had about two, $2 million in Bitcoin. Um, but the robber was, you know, didn't know what that was, too stupid. Uh, so Mr. Beast, you know, went back into the wallet, took the Bitcoin, it was safe. So yeah, that's <laughs> how he nearly lost all of his Bitcoin. Wow, so, so the moral of this story is, number one, whatever you do, don't write down your seed, uh, seed phrase and stick it to your <laughs> computer. Especially if you have no idea what a seed phrase is, you don't ever put it on a piece of paper no. and leave it with your computer, that's absolute insanity. All right, so you just gave away there that at that time he had $2 million. Yeah. That's $2 million at today's prices. Because yeah. obviously back then he didn't have as much money no. as he has now. So we've been doing our research. And if you ignore the XCAD network, if you ignore the NFTs, then we estimate that Mr. Beast has in excess of $5 million yeah. worth of Bitcoin yeah. on his account. Now, where do we get this number from? Do you want to explain to people a little bit about his collaboration with Coinbase? Because that's, yeah. I think, going to add to the story and explain how yeah. he's managed to amass so much Bitcoin in such a short right. space of time. Yes, yeah, so, you know, a bit later on in his career, uh, he partnered with Coinbase, who gave him a promotional code uh, where people go into you know, Coinbase, sign up with the code uh, and get a whole $10 of Bitcoin on their exchange. In, in addition to the $10, they yep. were also, and this was for Mr. Beast customers only, right. uh, they were also into, uh, entered into a prize draw for $100,000 right. worth of Bitcoin. And at the time, that today would be worth in excess of $250,000. So okay, so there we go. Mr. Beast has $5 million at least yep. of Bitcoin in his possession, in addition, to the NFTs, to XCAD, and everything else that he owns. But there is something that we need to warn you about, and that is fake AI-generated videos that yes. you will see on YouTube. So, Brogan, can you explain how these work? Yeah, um, so what these um, you know, scammers do uh, is they'll make fake screenshots, fake videos, AI, uh, you know, deep fake, make their lips move, uh, say words they didn't say, uh, with AI-generated you know, uh, snippets of them saying, you know, advertising this random website uh, where it promises you to get you know, a couple hundred dollars in this cryptocurrency yeah, if you thousand, sign up. A thousand dollars of Mr. Yeah. Beast coin yeah, yeah. or Elon Musk coin exactly. or whatever. If you sign up you know, in their website with your wallet, uh, which is how they can steal your, your money. Uh, and, it, and they do it all over the place, do it on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter. No, you can't get away from it. Exactly. So if you see Mr. Beast, Elon Musk, if you see Carol Vorderman, if you see any of these people telling you to buy a coin that you've never heard of, don't do it. No. What you need to do is you need to reach out to Crypto Warehouse. Yep. You need to follow and like our channel because we are going to tell you what is a scam and what is real. Absolutely. But whatever you do, don't believe that Mr. Beast coin or Mr. Elon Musk coin exists because no. they're all fake. And as Brogan has said, they are only out to take money off you. Yep. So in conclusion then, uh, we've seen everything there is to see about Mr. Mr. Beast yep. or Jimmy to his friends, as, he's, as, as, as we're now both going to call yes. him Jimmy. Yes. Um, I suppose the last question then before we end this video, Brogan, is what's your, what's your opinion of Mr. Beast in terms of do you think he's good for crypto or do you think he is possibly going to detract from the, the benefits of crypto? Yeah, all right. So, I mean, he's not a shiller. So there's a lot of you know, online celebrities 
to go on Twitter and they just, you know, they get asked by some random comic book flop in six months. Kim to, Kardashian. Yeah. Shaquille uh, O'Neal. I think does the same thing. Yeah. Not sure anything. And he's not like that. He doesn't advertise like that. Um, but at the same time, a lot of his audience are kids. So these sorts of advertising with Coinbase and whatnot, I don't think they're going to be the most productive, you know, uh, in terms of the return on investment to actually get people into crypto. However, he, he mainly did it for himself. And, and he, I think he said in one of his uh, you know, interviews that the majority of the money he gets from YouTube goes straight back into doing more YouTube videos. So, you know, investing elsewhere to try and get some profits so he can make better videos in the future. You know, obviously, like I said, he's doing it for himself. But at the end of the day, the more money he's getting, he's going to invest straight back into the YouTube channel. So I think it's a good thing. I don't think he's, he's shilling anything. I don't think he's doing any harm. Uh, I think it's going to be better for his channel, um, especially, uh, which in fact, you know, will help people who's watching him. And what do you think about it? Well, I think he's in a tricky situation, as is KSI, as is Logan Paul. As we know, Logan Paul, we're probably going to make a video about yeah. that at some point in the future. So make sure to follow us yeah. to watch that. Um, I think the problem is that once a celebrity gets involved with crypto, it, it can be a poison chalice. Yeah. What I mean by that is that they don't know enough about crypto to, to endorse a project, as yeah. we've seen with Shaquille O'Neal, as we've seen with many others. They don't know what they're endorsing, but it's a financial product. Yep. They need to stay away from that. So I think what Mr. Beast has done is, he's a very clever man. Clearly, he's the biggest YouTuber in the world. He's a very clever man. I think what he's done is he's diversified his portfolio. Mm. He's dipped his toe into Bitcoin, dipped his toe into NFTs. And I think in terms of adoption, we need people like Mr. Beast. Yep. Not so much the shillers you mentioned before, but we need people like Mr. Beast. KSI is a clever guy as well but I think KSI and his association with Logan Paul is someone who needs to stay well away Absolutely. from crypto and stick to making coconut-based drinks. Yeah. Uh, so with all that being said, we've finished the video. Yeah. This is episode four of uh, Crypto in the Park. So what do people need to do, Brogan? Well, like especially, uh, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you don't miss us, uh, and join our streams as well. Uh, we do very good content there. Uh, TA, you know, we help, we try to help people out. You know, we don't, we don't mainly do this for ourselves, we do it for you guys. Uh, so do make sure you catch us on, on the live streams uh, and comment, I guess. I mean, that's all I have to say. What about you? Nothing. That's it. Okay. We've summed it everything up. Well, we'll see, you we'll see you in the next Crypto in the Park. All right. Well, thank you. Goodbye.